Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm presenting to you the application Segway 9Bot and all the possibilities it offers on the Segway G30 Max. My favorite electric scooter at the moment. So I'm going to show you this application which is super interesting. To connect it's very simple. You download the Segway 9Bot application and then you turn on your electric scooter and the connection happens in a few seconds at most. It's very easy. As soon as we get on the app, there are lots of buttons. We're not quite sure what to do. There are really a lot of features on this electric scooter and it's not the clearest app. Well, I'm going to help you. Don't worry, it's not too complicated either. So, as soon as you arrive, you have in the top left the number of kilometers you can do with the electric scooter. In this case, I can still do 49 kilometers. Be careful, I have 49 kilometers left in theory. In practice, I probably have about 30 to 33 kilometers left. On the right, we have the battery percentage. So you can see that currently, I have 76% battery. So I have a bit more than three quarters of my battery full. So that means I can still move around quite a bit. Here, you have a button that allows you to lock the electric scooter. So when I click on the button, it simply locks the wheels of the electric scooter. I just moved my electric scooter and as you could see on the app, I received a warning. Your vehicle is in lock mode, yes. So basically it locks the wheels and it will beep if someone tries to take your electric scooter while it's locked. And then to exit this mode, you just need to slide like this and voila, you can move and reuse your electric scooter. Next, you have tasks for beginners. So we have about the vehicle, we're going to click on it very quickly. Well, as you can see, there's a bit of documentation, but well, it's not very telling, it's not very interesting either. Then you have the new rider tutorial. So that, I believe it's a video. It's a bit tedious to watch, so there you go. Those who skip the video. I understand you, it's a bit tiring. We're still going to look at it, just because. Okay, so here we have a little safety video. Okay, all right. So this is a short video that explains how the electric scooter works. It's quite theoretical. It's better to watch a complete video, especially on my YouTube channel. I've talked quite a bit about this electric scooter. Here we're getting into the practical side, we're on the field and I'm showing you exactly how it works. So there you go, then you have some small functions, so general settings, light effect, so you can continuously activate the light on the rear light. It's an option that I always tick on my electric scooters for safety and visibility reasons. Then you can enable or disable the cruise mode. So that's obviously the speed regulator. I love this feature, so I always activate it. And finally, you have the ability to manage the engine brake force. So the strength of the motor brake is like on a car. When you stop accelerating, you simply brake. And there you can gauge the strength of this brake. So there are several schools of thought. Either you try to use the engine brake as much as possible and thus minimally use your pads, or in this case, your drum brake. So you put it on strong or you go in comfort mode depending on what you prefer. Generally, it's going to be medium or weak, or you try to get maximum autonomy and go as far as possible. In that case, you set the engine brake to the weakest. Then you can record a trip. So that can be interesting for doing an autonomy test. Below, you have an odometer that gives you the total number of kilometers you have done with your electric scooter. Once again, unfortunately, I had a bug on this electric scooter because I changed phones. I might have created a new account between the two electric scooters, I'm not sure anymore, but I had traveled over 9,000 kilometers with my first app. So with the same scooter, the Segway G30. Max, and there you see, I've been using it again for several months now. And I'm only at 3,900 kilometers, which is already not bad. It's already a very good score. But as you know, the Segway G30 Max, it's a scooter with which I've traveled more than 10,000 kilometers. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame. I don't know if it's my fault because of an app change and an account switch, or if it's the app with a bad update that reset everything. So I find that a bit unfortunate nonetheless. Here you have some small pieces of information to explain what the cruise control is, how your battery works, safety instructions, maintenance tips, etc. Well, honestly, it's not very interesting, but you do have a bit of information about this application. You also have an FAQ section. So, the most recent questions. So, you see there, you have questions about Germany. Do you have any other questions? It's quite interesting. There you go. I've never been there, to be honest. But why not go there from time to time to see what's being said? So, while digging through the app, I noticed that I had another account on this electric routine, which would explain why I have a total mileage of 3,900 kilometers. 
Simply put, I got confirmation by digging a bit deeper into the app and I indeed had created an account with a different email address. So don't worry if you create an account with an email address, you won't have any problem. You'll really get the true total mileage. So there you have it. It's quite an interesting app. You have some features. It's not the smoothest and most intuitive app either. I prefer the app on the Auvo ES80. The app is called Auvo Pro. I made a video about it if you were interested and I'll let you check the video description or simply check the YouTube channel. So for example, the app for the Aovo ES80 is much better. And the same for the Navi V40, the app on the Segway and G30 Max. So it's this app that I presented to you in this video does the job, but I also don't find it very incredible. You see there are no really hyper interesting features. So well, you see it's really very basic and I find that it's not very easy to use. So for me, I would give a score of 6 out of 10 for this app. I hope you liked the video. If so, think about liking the video and subscribing to the YouTube channel. If you're interested in the electric scooter, I will obviously put the link in the description to order it. And it's my favorite electric scooter. I've ridden over 10,000 kilometers with it and it's never let me down. With that, see you right away in the next video that will display on the screen and for the others, see you next week.